weighing of the evidence in this case. The totality of the evidence clearly demonstrates that Mackenzie Shirilla acted purposely and intentionally in the early morning hours of July 31st, 2022, her purpose was to kill Dominic Russo and the McDonald family. No reasonable fact finder could view the totality of this evidence in this case and come to any other conclusion. Her actions were controlled, methodical, deliberate, intentional, and purposeful. This was not reckless driving. This was murder. Court renders the following verdicts. Count one. The court, having had count one tried to a pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of murder to win Dominic Russo in violation of the Harvey Vice Code section 2903.02a is charged in count one. Count two. The court, having had count two tried to a pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of murder to win Davion Flanagan in violation of the Harvey Vice Code section 2903.02a is charged in count two of the indictment. <coughs> count three. Murder. The court, having had count three tried to a pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of murder to win Dominic Russo in violation of the Harvey Vice Code section 2903.02b is charged in count three. Count four. Murder. The court, having had count four tried to a pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, Shirilla guilty of murder to win Dominic Russo in violation of the Harvey Vice Code section 2903.02b is charged in count four. Count five. Felonious assault. The court, having had count five tried to a pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of felonious assault to win Dominic Russo in violation of the Harvey Vice Code section 2903.11 of the revised code is charged in count five of the indictment. Count six. Felonious assault. The court. So <clears throat> there you have it, this, this one, that she minecrafted her boyfriend and the boyfriend's friend because she decided, yeah, just as this text says, she slammed the car into a brick wall going at 100 miles per hour. I heard this in Mexico once that yeah uh, a whole did this but it was just this once I heard more from the US that something like this happens of daily basics or it started to be daily basics sadly that's something that you should not be but well from this time yeah she she's going to have a life in prison and I, I agree with Toxin Man Baby. Hope she has fun because, yeah, she decided to fuck around, find out, and she's facing the consequence of their own actions. And you had this fucking. The way the evidence in this case. Always the same pretty white girl going to prison for life because she's a pretty white girl. I, I don't know what kind of fucking retarded mindset it is. Oh yeah, it's the U.S. I forgot that. I'm sorry. She doesn't deserve a single day in prison, let alone years. You know it. <laughs> and I really let Minecrafters run free. No, give her what what a man will get for double vehicle Minecrafting. Dura Lex said Lex less said less. Ten years is getting off easy. Two years she got fighting she she got fifteen to life. Oh man. Ah yes, who's equal system and bias against women that are pre pretty and white. The literal trifecta of status that aside from being absolutely wealthy statistically work out work out in favor of a defendant for both conviction, outcomes and sentencing. And of course the facts are here. <laughs> uh... 
Oh man. <laughs> Are you stupid? <laughs> yeah. She is. And and then I heard this one. Testimony from a man survival of Ah struggles noveling from the mother. And just so you know, I just showing you this because this shit is just fucking insane. They want to claim that women cannot do wrong and they want to trick the legal system, make it more broken than already it is, and spread that legal system to across the rest of the world. And look at how we are now. Even Colombia is not fucking safe. Alright, that's pretty much everything I needed to show you. I hope you have a pretty good day.